Hello and welcome back to Daniel Drives. I'm Daniel Actaus and in this video we're going to take a detailed look at the original 1970s brochure for the Leyland Sherpa. But first, a bit of a history lesson. The Leyland Sherpa was a British built van launched in 1974, which lasted until 1982, when the van continued under a different name. It was made to rival the famous Ford Transit, which was launched nine years earlier in 1965. The Sherpa offered a choice of two petrol engines and a diesel engine, each mounted at the front of the vehicle. British Leyland used the sayings, the van that can take it all, and the van that drives like a car. They assured that it would take a load off your mind. Grab a drink, sit down, and enjoy this video about a true British icon that's not a Ford Transit. So there we go, a brief insight into the wonderful history of the Leyland Sherpa. Now I know it's been an awful long time since we've done a brochure video on this YouTube channel. I think the last one was for the Toyota Yaris brochure collection that I got, I think it was March of 2021. They're bulletproof. They have a really good reputation for being very reliable. Again, here's a nice picture that I really like. It's a new vision in driving. So it's been a really long time and I have had this specific brochure stashed away, ready for a video for quite a long time. And it's a magnificent brochure. The pictures are wonderful, the typography is wonderful, and I do believe you can pick up more of these brochures on eBay. So you can have a look on there for uh, your own example if you'd like to get one yourself. So, without any delay, let's take you in for a closer look and let's have a look through this because it's going to be really interesting. Okay, so first impressions, the front cover, the Sherpa, it can take it. Now, Remember that phrase, it can take it, because it's a motto that British Leyland obviously really wanted to use for the Sherpa, um, suggesting that it can do almost anything you want it to do, because obviously it's a commercial vehicle, so it has to do uh, you know, post runs, it's got to work for British Airways, and you'll see it all in this brochure, but I just think the photo on the front is really quite lovely in this, in this blue, and it's by the canal, and I'm just describing things you can, you can see quite clearly, but I just think it's, it's really quite lovely to look at. And on the back, dimensions uh, of the actual Sherpa, whether you get the pickup version or the actual van version. So there we go, I really like that. And it's got the uh, British Leyland UK Limited address here in uh, Worcester, I think that is, B974DQ. So I like that, that's nice. So let's see what there is on the first page, shall we? So it says, introducing the van that can take it. So remember, it can take it on the front and it's you know, a lot of repetition for it can take it. So introducing the incredibly rugged Sherpa from Leyland Cars. We made it tough so it'd be easy on you. We put in 50,000 miles of torque, sorry not torque, torture testing in extremes of cold in Lapland, extremes of heat in Turkey, and about every kind of road condition in MIRA. And as if that weren't enough, a further 350,000 miles of punishing road endurance. So it went through a lot of testing and actually it says here 400,000 miles of motoring hell. That's how they described it, motoring hell, wow. And uh, it passed with flying colours apparently and that shows just how dependable you'll find the Sherpa is and just how economical it is to use. So there we go, here is a, uh, a male Sherpa uh, outside a newsagent and tobacconist uh, from the 70s, very stereotypical 70s. Um, and it just looks lovely in that sort of livery, that paint job. I just love it. I mean, look at the chrome hubcaps. That is so 70s. I just love it for that. I like it. That's lovely. Uh, on the next page, you can see a British Airways Leyland Sherpa um, and some people going downstairs from the aeroplane. I like that a lot, actually. That's quite nice. It says a forward mounted engine means cheaper, easier servicing. Now, Obviously, its direct competitor is going to be the Ford Transit. The Ford Transit was uh, revealed in 1965, and the Leyland Sherpa arrived, I think, 1974-ish. So the Leyland Sherpa came to try and demolish the Transit. And there's an obvious winner, really. The Transit's still around today in 2021, and the Sherpa isn't. So obviously, the Transit was the better, better vehicle for people needing a van. But this was still a perfectly good van and they, they like to really, really make it clear that this is a van that handles like a car. That's the message they wanted to get across. So it says, the engine is mounted forward. This way you've got easier access for maintenance and servicing. Now this makes it easy. And they're just trying to get you really interested in the Sherpa, really. And if I just show you, I wonder, hope you can see that. Yes, you can. 
there's uh, two pictures here and this is the possible seating arrangements for the back of the Sherpa because obviously the Sherpa here, British Airways and that's to uh, ferry people from the plane to the actual airport so I like that, that's actually really nice what is there on the next page? let's turn over our way up, we've got a pickup Sherpa with tarmac grid on the side, tarmac construction limited wow, I like that so it'll pay you to run one in the long run apparently <laughs> Uh, you know you know it's what a vehicle costs to run in the long run that counts. Of course it is. For example, the recorded fuel consumption from the UK to Turkey test area, some 2,700 miles, that's a long way, was 31.6 mpg for the 240 minibus, that's the 1,798cc diesel engine, and 23.2 mpg for the 250, and that is the 1,798cc petrol. So fairly economical for a van, obviously 31 mpg or 23 mpg is not going to make you wet your pants with excitement, but for the time it was good enough really. And there we go, you can see the Sherpa pickup with a tilt fitted, sort of like the tent thing on the back. It looks very World War II doesn't it actually, I like that, I like the colour. So going on now, again as I mentioned earlier, the van that drives like a car. So we proved it when we hammered around Lapland. Uh, Turkey um, and MIRA. Driver fatigue was minimal because the drivers genuinely enjoyed driving the van. And the fact is, the safer and more comfortable your driver feels in the cab, the better he'll do his job and the more efficient he'll be to your company. That is fantastic. So they're not trying to sell it to the individuals as such, they're trying to sell this Leyland Sherpa to businesses as a whole. And I just love that photo showing the interior. Wooden dash leather seats or maybe leatherette, probably leatherette because it's British Leyland, uh, fake leather and I just like it and obviously out the front window, the window screen, um, you can see another Leyland Sherpa with Kenning Van Hire written on the side and uh, there's a man helping a woman carry, uh, I don't know, no it's two men actually, two men carrying furniture into a house. So it's just trying to, trying to sell to the audience and businesses and stuff like that what the Leyland Sherpa can actually do and quite clearly, it's absolutely everything. Another little motto here, it'll take a load off your mind. And on the bottom here is all of the door opening configurations. You can get slidey doors, you can get normal opening doors. I really like it actually, that is nice. And you can see another two Sherpas here in sort of a baby blue color, maybe white in some funny lighting and a sort of British racing green, maybe even olive green, like you get on the new Audi RS e-tron GT. There we go, Daniel Drives comparing a new Audi electric car to a 1970s Leyland Sherpa. <laughs> Only on this YouTube channel. And this page, here is all of the different types of Sherpas you can get. You could get a uh, high loading one, you can get the pickup, you can get a tipper Sherpa, you can get a bus Sherpa, you can get a camper van Sherpa. There's absolutely everything. So any type of Sherpa you want for your business, you could get back in the olden days, in inverted commas. So it says, Sherpa chassis cab, a practical proposition for practically everything. Wow, a lot of P's in that sentence. This is important. All bodywork conversions on van, pickup, crew bus or minibus, and all specialized bodywork on chassis cab must, must have the official approval of Leyland Cars Engineering Division to qualify for the terms of the manufacturer's warranty in the super cover scheme. Now you can see the super cover scheme on the next page and that's something that British Leyland did throughout the 70s and the 80s and it was almost like a warranty and now this was very very big back then because it wasn't seen from, from many car manufacturers at all. For example I don't think the likes of BMW and Mercedes did anything like this. I may be wrong and if I'm wrong please correct me in the comments but super cover gave people peace of mind that their British made car um, would you know, serve them well. And if not, Supercover would be there for the rescue. So it says, even if you never need it, it's good to know you've got it. Ah, oh, applicable only to vehicles used within the United Kingdom. So it says, every new vehicle detail in this brochure has Supercover, and that includes the Leyland Sherpa. Now, if you're a business and you're, you want to buy a van, you want it to be reliable, and if something does go wrong, you're not gonna want to spend hundreds trying to repair it, i.e. with a Ford Transit. So by going for a Leyland Sherpa, if you have Supercover, that means the money in your business goes towards you know, 
the manager maybe, and buying his big new house, rather than trying to fix the van. So Supercover was very crucial back then. It's lovely actually. And this is the final page. God, we got through this quick. I'm only flicking through it really. I could go on for absolutely hours. Uh, and this is a specification. So let's just run through a few as an example. So the 1622cc uh, petrol engine, said that very wrong, didn't I? And that was uh, fitted on the 185 and 215 models. Four cylinder, vertical inline pushrod overhead valve. Uh, for example, the brake horsepower for that is 56 brake horsepower. 56 horsepower. Maybe not a lot, but the Leyland Sherpa was a light van and it was, you know, like a car. That was what uh, British Leyland said. So maybe it didn't need a lot of power. And you've got to remember the Ford Transit of the 1960s and the 70s also didn't have massive amount of power. It just wasn't needed. What was needed more was the torque. Now it says here the maximum torque for that specific engine I mentioned uh, is 82.5 pound foot of torque at 2000 RPM. So even that's not a lot. But I don't know, I don't know. I've never been in a Sherpa, so I can't really uh, comment my own views on the performance. So there we go. But there, yeah, a lot of engine options, two petrol engines and a diesel engine by the looks of it. Um, so yeah, you can choose really. Don't know which one I'd go for personally. I think for a van, diesel makes more sense. But if you're only gonna be running around, uh, for example, delivering flowers, then maybe a petrol engine will do. It was all your choice and uh, approximate curbside weights listed here. So there we go, I think that's actually it. The end of the brochure, I can't believe how quick that's gone. I hope that's been interesting, the Leyland Sherpa. What a wonderful thing it is. And I hope you enjoyed the history lesson at the start of the video. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and don't forget to support Daniel Drives by subscribing because we're awfully close to 1000 subscribers and I'm trying to plan something quite big don't know what yet, but that'll probably be in the new year, so I've got some time to think. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed looking through this brochure. I certainly did. And I've read through it like probably three or four times now, and finally I've had a chance to make the video. I've got loads more brochures stashed away just beyond the camera, um, and I can do them. So if you want more brochure content, then please leave a comment below. Um, I've got some Peugeots, I've got some Rovers. I've got GR Yaris brochure even, so if you want something more modern, then do let me know. And remember, you can follow me on social media for any updates or random posts at Daniel Carzo 5 Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon.